Well, uh, allegedly, the Big Ten didn't want us. That's what I heard. Oh, wait, did you right. have well, BYU in, no. The, in them? No, not yet. No right. way. That's a non-conference game. BYU is coming to Morgantown, though. So much of the devil. We'll see, okay? <laughs> we will see. Right. Temptation yeah. could potentially arise. No offense to BYU. I understand you're very professional, especially at such a young age, because the way you live your life, Morgantown's a different animal. Yeah, it's so <laughs> Oh, it is, eh? I know they went down to East Carolina. Remember that? Yep. Sure. Or Coastal Carolina? Coastal Coast, Carolina. Coastal, week Coast, of. Right on the beach. Myrtle yeah. Beach. Uh -huh. Right there in Myrtle Beach. Yep. yep. Thought to myself, oh, I wonder how they'll do in Myrtle Beach for the first time. Kind of looking around. Myrtle Beach got a lot of options. They don't even fuck with that because if they get caught, boom, honor code violation. Good, You're not a BYU Cougar anymore. Get you're the out. fuck out of here. And I know, and most people will probably never, ever give in to temptation. They don't. Know, especially in that religion. I'm Mormon. But every once in a while, you know, like Morgantown, you know, all you need is a couple people getting a little pixie, you know, and all of a sudden we got maybe some inner team issues. They love bunk beds. What's that, pal? They love bunk beds. You can shake them, okay? Bingo. Right, what does that mean? Oh, if you. I'm sure if we were to piece this together, it would be something incredibly toxic. I would like to let the BYU folks know that I'm a fan. I am a big. Mm -hmm. Austin Cauley told me the entire breakdown. Not necessarily my religion, but I do appreciate the fact that it's your religion. Yeah, if absolutely. that makes sense. The breakdown of the religion or the bunk beds? He didn't tell you about soaking. So I've not heard about the bunk beds <laughs> no, or soaking. Soaking. Yeah. Soaking's not. What are the bunk beds doing? You, you get a, your roommate to shake the bunk beds, so soaking turns into sex. Yeah, no. I didn't know that. I didn't oh. know that part. What is this? Sex about I don't think yeah. I understand what you're talking about. Yeah, they're not allowed to have sex, so they just put it in, and then their roommates shake the bed. Oh, so it's like teamwork. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So they're trying to create an earthquake. Yeah. Whoa. I'm not doing yeah, it. Not yeah. <laughs> the universe. Holy shit, stop it. Oh, okay. bed. What a move. I mean, it's, <laughs> she fell on me. What does it say? Necessity is the mother of ingenuity. That's and that right. seems mm -hmm. like that is what they have figured out. Maybe the bunk beds are a thing. If it wasn't a bunk bed, it might be easier to move. But yeah. normal bed, sure. yeah. Yep. I mean, either way. You tell me, just need a just need a kind of, I mean. You need a sturdy bed. Is he a sturdy bed? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Happy we're breaking down religion. Is that real? We do not know if that's real. I'm but pretty sure. I'm 99.9. .9 I could see it. Earthquaking, of course, okay. A yeah. uh, variation of soaking. An unmarried Mormon couple go to the top bunk Boom. on a set of bunk beds. <laughs> the Mormon guy puts his penis into the Mormon girl, <laughs> but holds still because if he thrusted, that would be having sex. Don't move. Which Bingo. is a sin. A Hold! Third, a third person then gets on the bottom bunk and kicks the top bunk oh, so the there. couple can experience movement but they will be in the clear because it's not them doing the movement. <laughs> God told them it's okay if somebody's kind of kicking your ass while it's all kind of happening. Peter and Molly tried soaking, but found it rather boring. So they asked their friend Jack to help them with earthquaking. Boom. Simple. Different levels. That's, that's straight Makes out of their sense. book. <laughs> and then when they're done, they wash it down with a nice cold Coke. <laughs> that caffeine is beneath. Nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's new to me. Hey, BYU, doing their thing. That's how they roll. Hey. People are very creative. Yep. That is a good question. We do have if it's access in there, it to counts, I feel like BYU grad normally. Yeah, you call him right now. Should we? I think, is this something we should call and ask about? Might not. He might be doing you it. Right now. Don't mean to be disrespectful. These are just things that we have learned. In our, these are things that are happening in the real world. I'm, I just learned this today. Yeah. Yeah. There's a word for it. Let's this call question. him. Let's call him and see what he's doing. I can't wait to drop him into this. He's, there's no way he even sees what's going on right now. He answers his phone, if he does. Mm -hmm. Being an incredibly good person. Boys, what's going on? Looking so cool. Mm -hmm. And then we're like, hey, real quick, earthquaking. How we doing it? When we doing it? <laughs> Was that a thing when you were you in college? Clock? Kyle! <laughs> My guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're the man. You look so cool getting <laughs> after it. This is not a fake workout. This is a real workout. It appears as if that was real sweat, right? Yeah, I'm not trying to be like Will Compton and say 10.2. Whoa. Whoa. You both get after it, obviously. You both are incredibly handsome. And you both, you know, getting ready for next year's NFL season. That's right. Hey, we, we wanted to call and ask you. You're literally the only human that we could call and ask this question to. <laughs> literally the only one. Okay, so I, I want you to think of that as an honor. Okay, because it is. You want me to ask him? Please don't. Please, it's not the Asante thing. No. no. Well, <laughs> no, 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 it's not that. Vastly different than that. Although it would be good to get your take on yeah. that at some point. <laughs> Sorry, this is bad. that's bad lighting. My bad. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna want to. Okay, that's perfect. You look like an angel. That's great for this. Yeah. So. <laughs>
Earthquaking. Is this a real thing that happens at BYU? Do you know what this is? Bunk yeah. bed. <laughs> is it, we just learned about it. Kyle, you're the only human we could call. Have you heard of this? Is this a lie? Is this all on the internet? What is this? I believe it's called soaking. Who's doing it? Soaking. soaking. Okay. So and this, it is true. Yeah. It's a known thing. Hey, I don't know. I followed all the rules, bro. Oh, <laughs> smart. Know, smart. That's the type of guy you want on your team. That's right. All right. We oh. pre- hey, you know you're playing West Virginia this year in Morgantown. In Morgantown. Oh, that's going to be easy money. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you haven't been good. You haven't been good since uh, my guy Pat White, Steve Slayton, Noel Devine, and you were a punter. Yeah, so – we were great. And we're- hey, but they get after it, though. They're badass when it comes to, like, partying. But I don't know what that is. I went to BYU. Well, that's why it led to the soaking <laughs> thing. I was wondering if there's a chance maybe some of the guys you might give in a temptation a little bit in Morgantown. Gives us a shot. Because you guys, I would assume, are going to be ranked a much better team than West Virginia going into the season. Everyone is. I su- Relax. Uh, most. So. Please. We're trusting the climb. So I thought maybe a little temptation in Morgantown might be a weapon for us. Is that anywhere close to a real thing? Or is that even a thought for anybody on the team over there? I mean, honestly, it, it, it's in the back of our mind right now. I think we're just focused on spring ball. If you want to tune in, I'm actually doing the sideline reporting on BYU TV on Friday, doing the spring game and the alumni. I'm trying to be the next – Pat McAfee 2.0 on the sideline type video. Hell so yeah, that. dude. Let's go, Kyle. BYU TV? Where is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you think about how many people are going to be soaking while watching Kyle. <laughs> so many. <laughs> It'll be awesome. Go ahead, so, AJ. So many. So many soakers, dude, just soaking. So many. Kyle, what, were you, what was your, uh, what's your relationship like with BYU now? I don't know if this conversation changes anything for your Friday view. And also, I don't even That's want to awesome. actually – I can't even yeah. ask you a real question. The soaking part. So they <laughs> soak, and then they kick – the person that lays in the bottom bunk kicks the top bunk. I don't think that's good enough movement. you just be getting kicked right in your cakes. Like, why do you – why would you do that, Kyle? They're doing that. I don't know. I didn't participate in that. That is – You ever hear anybody you know. do it? <laughs> now, Pat's acting. You might get something there. Yeah, Pat, Pat might be doing it right. <laughs> Is that what it is? Um, good win, this man. is all. This is you would never do this, so you don't know, obviously. Mm-hmm. And nobody that we have. Ever- one, I think there's called that, and then there's like scraping zippers or like Whoa. fire, oh. like what? sparking yeah. fires or oh, something nice. like Kindling. that. Kindling, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. All right, well, um, so I guess Morgantown won't be fun. an issue then. Yeah. All right, so you gotta have a good, you gotta, gotta have a good mate. Yeah. yeah, they need yeah. you. You can only you can only be the you're the only bottom bunk person that can get any work done. I was just trying to think like uh, how's this gonna go? You know what I mean? <laughs> and how tired are those legs gonna oh, get? Yeah, boy. you're putting in a lot of work. So tired. You need to you need to find out who in the crew grew up as a kicker. Hilly mm-hmm. town. Yeah, yeah, biking. Yeah, Jalen Hurts would be unbelievable at it. Boom. Yeah, yeah, maybe Scott the weight room. Yeah, yeah. see who's squatting what. Saquon Barkley. Just yeah, walk around. Look at dude's squad. You're fucking tired, though. Like, uh, yeah, you're going to have to go quick. Buddy, this is on you. Uh, hold so on. tired. I got a cramp. Yeah, I guess it's going to be quick, though, Pac. Remember, they're doing this just so they can have intercourse. I was going to say, they're not used to it, so they're probably shooting their goo pretty quick. Yeah. Which, how could you blame them? Yeah, exactly. They're getting their ass massaged by a couple of feet. Yeah. Right. And you're quaking. And then mm-hmm. they're, you, you know, probably get I mean? like seven terror guns. <laughs> yeah, use Good. that. Just three people underneath yep. with the. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's get some phone calls. Headphones on. Big thanks, Kyle Van Noy, for answering our question. Yeah. yeah. Legend. Have you ever seen a, a bigger situation of there's an adult and then there's a bunch of kids? That kind of just happened. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, pre- yeah. Working That's, out. Right. Okay, getting better as a human. Mm-hmm. Hey, tell us about this. You know what I mean? Him, earthquaking. Yeah. Like that is. He knew it, though. He's a dog. Yeah. Soaking, you mean? Yeah. He knew. You guys thought I was making stuff up. Tone, congrats, bro. Yeah, you should take a victory lap. He was probably wow. so excited. Kyle looked so excited to get that call, to chat on the show, to talk a little football, and that's what you did. <laughs> that's what you do. What? We, 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 we need to know. He's our, he's our journalist for we, that. We yeah. talk college football. What do you mean? We did. Yeah. Yeah. And he got a, a pub in for what he's doing this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, be hey, on TV. Listen, West Virginia. Taught us how to soak him. Bingo. Mm. Spe- on that note. West Virginia, when BYU comes to town, bunk beds only. All those hotels. <laughs> Let's at least let them think there's a chance. Set them up. You know what I mean? Some of them. Yeah. A, what? 
Yeah, no, it just it would be great if they somehow did that in their hotel. There's bunk beds. Like, yep, that's what we do. Home field advantage. They also have those motels. <laughs> you put a quarter in the bed and it just shakes. Oh, oh yeah, we got yeah. a yeah, lot those of those in Morgantown. What's that? Those would work. That's what they need to bring those back. Those vibrating beds. Mm. Probably good business to be had there in the BYU community, yeah. the Mormon community. <laughs> yeah. If you have those beds, kind of been. I, I don't think we've seen them in a long time. No. In 30 years. There's probably a warehouse full of them somewhere. <laughs> Could be a big yeah. comeback. Could be a big comeback. Yeah. I wonder if they even know that they've missed the mark here on this entire community. Their demo is right there waiting on them. I mean, Holy shit. Billion dollar idea. What if you actually... All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the phones. I was thinking of a bed that actually like mimicked the motions of like a fool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We can sell at least 10 of these things. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So the parents don't know the kids are doing it, but all the parents did it. Is soaking generational, I assume, over there? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. What's up, I'm AJ? Sure. I don't know. I don't know if it's like something that dads pass down to their kids and they tell them, tell them about their stories. Hey, I didn't pump once. Not <laughs> one thrust. I don't think that happened. <laughs> it probably. Probably evolved. Started in like a rocking chair. Before I got married to your mom, I didn't have one Not single one. pump. <laughs> Not one. A lot of bopping. Look at us. 30 years later, we're still together. <laughs> yep. This is our problem, though. We're not mocking it. No. We're just talking about yeah. something not that's just, real. That's not just. That's not strictly a Mormon thing, too. That's anyone trying to not, you know, bang before they're married. There's a lot of things that happen in a lot of religions, if you were to look into them, and the amount of people that believe in some things that are like, oh, really? You can really start mm-hmm. judging, I think, everybody, if you were to. The Mormons certainly have a few of those Mm -hmm. in their history, but they believe just as much as everybody else believes. So I enjoy the conversation with them. I will talk to anybody about their religion because Mm -hmm. how impressive it is. Like, think about what they're doing. Oh, Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, they, whole lives. Other humans around them, they're just walking around. Their friends are just bopping that aren't in, right? You do sports. Yeah. Just bop time, bop time. Oh, we're losing our virginity. We're doing this. Mm -hmm. And that the amount of discipline that a teenager has to have to make the decision to go be like, no, we're not doing that. Actually, sure, I'm gonna go bop. I was looking at your quads. I was wondering uh, next time. <laughs> what are you What are you doing tomorrow night? All right, there's forty thousand people watching. I couldn't help couldn't help but notice that your quads are gigantic, sir. I'm gonna need you. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, well, this is not. This is just reality. Yeah, dissecting it. Yeah, we were just talking about this. Means no disrespect. Kyle Van Noy, literally friend of ours. Yeah, he believe like we I mean no disrespect at all. But people are going to get very disrespected by this, I think. They shouldn't. We don't mean, we're just trying to open up eyes. Yeah. yeah. Was zipper rubbing over the pants hand jobs? I think they're actually. I think it's like OTP, OTP H- H- yeah, yeah, creating friction. Yeah. The zippers. Yeah, because it's called kindling, right? Like, yep. Or whatever it was called. Mm-hmm. What is that thing that you take out in the woods and they say is easy, but it's actually impossible? Flint. 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 So they, they call that flint? Is that what they yeah. call yep. that, you think? Yeah, mm-hmm. Flint in the flint. crotch. Striker. Let's go. Striker. Flint striker. Flint Striker. Yep. That is the the company that makes it. Is that the one you bought? I was I was I was deep in the thought. I was thinking about if you were to cage a kangaroo on the bottom bunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kangaroo now, jacked now out you're there. Thinking. That's a that was the best honestly, way. To pretty good idea. That is a good idea. Kangaroo sales have <laughs> skyrocketed <laughs> in Utah. You get them, you get them to snort coke and then trap them in the bottom bunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 yeah. Cocaine roo. Oh my god. How did that cocaine bear do? Right? It did well. Pretty, pretty well. Yeah, I think yeah. so. People said it was good. Uh, it was exactly what you thought. Yeah, Bill said it was like the best movie he's ever seen. And then I heard somebody on the internet say it was the worst movie they ever seen. So, mm-hmm. so it's a movie. Yeah. Okay, got it. <laughs>